Hi everyone, it's Amanda from Lowell Animal Hospital, one of the technicians here, um, and today we're going to be talking about deworming uh, for internal parasites or worms. Um, there are many internal parasites, some are worm-like and some are single-celled organisms. Um, how are how are, how do we find them? Sometimes you find them in their feces. So if it's a cat, you you scoop out their litter box and you see maybe um, rice or spaghetti looking worms on top of their stool, and you question it, think what is that, and then um, and then you, or if you're cleaning up the dog, same thing. Uh, so it is it is pretty common. I just want to throw it out there. So I once had a lady tell me, I swear I'm a good owner. Well, of course you're a good owner. And this is very common. So just, just so you know, um, you also need to know that worms can be zoonotic. So you want to make sure that anytime you're, it's just common sense, but anytime you're cleaning up after your pet stool, you want to make sure you wash your hands, okay? Uh, how do we find uh, worms? Maybe we didn't even see them in the stool, but it is important to check a fecal on them at least once a year. We want to make sure that your pets aren't picking up worms or intestinal parasites out in their environment or from other pets that or other animals that they are around in their environment. So we need to check a fecal. We take a sample, a fr the freshest sample you have, because if it's a dried out one, um, we obviously can't mix that with any kind of solution uh, to figure out. Uh, if they have anything, so it needs to be a fresh sample. We usually send that out to a lab um, and we get the results the next day. It's amazing. Um, back in the day, you used to have like 50 fecals <laughs> lined up on the counter to read. And so it's just, it's so nice to send them out. And I apologize, you know, that it, it takes a day, but it, it really is helpful. And uh, you have some professionals that are reading fecals over there and then they send us the results um, via fax. So it's great. Uh, let me see. Mm, what medication is used for deworming? We have several different types of dewormers. Depends on what kind of parasite or worm they have. Uh, we have a pill for um, tapeworms. Uh, we have topical um, dewormers. Uh, we also have oral deworming liquids um, that they take a couple days. And then we, we always like to recheck your fecals, though, to make sure they are negative because it is zoonotic and uh, parasites can make them very sick. We want to make sure those parasites are gone. So three weeks or so after their last dose, we really like to make sure that they're gone. So we like to recheck that fecal. And once we get that negative, you know you're in the clear. Um, but that is like... Like I said, we like to check those fecals once a year because they really can pick up worms at any time in their life. Um, as I said in another video, my dog, for some reason, he just always has uh, coccidia because he eats rabbit poop. <laughs> it's so annoying, but it happens. And so I'm always diligent and make sure that I'm checking his fecal at least once a year. Um, can I deworm my cat at home? No. I don't even know what you would use to deworm your cat at home, but no. Uh, the medications that we use are safe um, and uh, pretty, um, they're, they're good. They, they take care of the problem and um, adequate. So we want to make sure that, you know, you're not going to make the problem worse. And we want to make sure that it's going to work and takes care of the problem. I wouldn't want worms myself, so I would want to use something fast and efficient enough to get rid of worms so that I know my kids are safe, I'm safe, and my pet is safe, and they're not going to get unhealthy and and have any issues there. Um, how often should my cat be dewormed? Well, we will automatically deworm the baby kittens and the puppies just because uh, roundworms are so common from the, milks, the mother's milk. Um, so we will automatically deworm them then. And then... Um, we will send out a fecal and then find out if they have anything. And then if they need a second deworming, uh, if the doctor recommends that, we'll go ahead and give that. Uh, what happens when my cat is dewormed? Okay, so sometimes, not always, when you give a dewormer, it will push out those adult worms. So you'll start to see uh, round worms, which are spaghetti looking, or tapeworms, which are look like rice. Um, it was quite frightening one time I gave a puppy dewormer and it did not take long where the poor thing, that's all it had were 
uh, a round worm bowel movement. It was terrifying. It just looked like an alien coming out. Um, when they are fresh out of the colon, they do move. Um, so it is terrifying. Uh, it, and it can be quite scary for somebody who doesn't know what they're looking at. Um, and once they are out of the the host, they do dry up and die. Um, so just so you know, sometimes you catch, you, you don't see something moving. They're all dried up and they do look like rice because that's what they actually feel like. They feel like dried up rice. Um, is deworming necessary for cats? Uh, if they're positive for um, worms, then yes. I Because mean, worms can cause a significant amount of different issues, anemia, um, hunger, diarrhea, vomiting. Um, like I said, we like to we like to deworm the babies just because we know that like 70% of the time they get that round worms from their mothers. Um, what would happen if my cat isn't dewormed? Well, um, if you don't deworm them, they can get anemia. Um, they can get extreme belly distension because those worms are feeding off of the nutrients in in the food that your cat is trying to eat. Um, vomiting, diarrhea can cause dehydration. Uh, they can get to a point where they can die. So it's very important that you deworm them and make sure that you get them taken care of. And like I've said many times, I mean, this can be transferred to humans. So I I don't want worms. Um, so I want to make sure my pet is healthy and that I am healthy and my family's healthy. Um, some of those questions just kind of repeated themselves. So I apologize. But like I always say, if you have any questions or concerns, please give us a call and we'll be happy to answer those for you. Okay, thanks.